This video is multiplying and dividing by powers of 10 with decimals. Please make sure when starting that you have this sheet already glued into your notes, as well as grabbing one of our clear sleeves that has this paper in it so that you can work alongside me as we practice. You can go ahead and hit pause and grab what you need and unpause when you are ready. All right, guys. So when multiplying and dividing by powers of 10, we are shifting the decimal from one place to the next, depending upon whether it's multiplication or division. Just like with whole numbers, our exponent is going to tell us how many times we're going to shift, and our operation is going to tell us in which way we're going to shift. If we're multiplying by a power of 10, we are going to make our numbers bigger, and if we or move to the shift to the left to make it bigger, and if we are dividing by a power of 10, we're going to shift our numbers to the right, making them smaller. So as you can see in this one, 32 and 14 hundredths times 10 to the second power, we moved each of the digits two places to the left to make it bigger. So the three in the tens place moved to the three in the thousands place. And each number after it also shifted twice to end up in its final spot, giving us 3,214. So when we look at the number 349 and 6 tenths and we want to divide it by 10 to the second, remember we're going to use our exponent to tell us how many times we're going to shift and the division division symbol tells me which way we're going to shift and since division we want to get a smaller number we're going to move or shift to the right so we're going to look at our six and we're going to shift it two places to the right and then we're going to look at our nine we're going to shift it two places to the right the four shifts two places to the right and the three shifts two places to the right. So we made 349 and 6 tenths 100 times smaller. And that gives us 3 and 496 thousandths. For the next one, we have 6 and 4 hundredths. And we want to multiply by 10 to the third power. So the three tells me that I want to shift each number three times, making it a thousand times bigger, because the multiplication sign means we want it to be bigger, and we want to shift all of our numbers to the left. So I'm going to take my six, and I'm going to shift it three times to the left. I'm going to take my zero, shift it three times to the left, and I'm going to take my four and shift it three times to the left. However, I still have a space left here before the before the decimal and I need to input a zero as a placeholder. So six and four hundredths multiplied by ten to the third power is six thousand forty. All right. Now we have four thousand nine hundred seventy and we're going to divide it by ten to the second power. Again our exponent tells us how many times to shift and the symbol tells us which direction. Since it's division, we're gonna shift it to the right, making it smaller. I'm gonna make it smaller by two times, so shift that twice. I'm gonna shift my seven twice. I'm shifting my nine twice, and I'm shifting my four twice. Remember, we're making every digit 100 times smaller, so we're moving it to the right twice. So 4,970, divided by 10 to the second or divided by 100 is 49 and 7 tenths or 70 hundredths both are correct. All right, now I'm going to have you get out the clear sleeve and we're going to do some practice problems together. Sorry about the glare. We'll try to see if we can work around it. So let's first start off and look at, try to get this in the center. 
Let's do 52 and 14 hundredths. So let's do 52 and 14 hundredths. And let's go ahead and multiply it by 10 to the second power. So again, we're going to, the 2 tells me how many times to shift. The multiplication sign tells me make it bigger. So I'm going to shift my 5 twice. I'm going to shift my 2 twice. I'm going to shift my 1 twice. And I'm going to shift my 4 twice. So my answer is 5,214. All right, let's look at another one. What if I have 34 hundredths and I want to divide it by 10 to the second power? So we're first going to put in our 34 hundredths. And because we're dividing, we're going to shift to the right. And the 2 tells me twice. So I'm going to shift my 4 twice. And I'm going to shift my 3 twice. And then I have these placeholders that I need to fill with zeros. So 34 hundredths divided by 10 to the second power becomes 34 ten thousandths. Let's do that to the third, sorry guys. One and eight tenths, and we're gonna multiply it by 10 to the third. So I'm gonna shift to the left so that my number gets bigger, and I'm gonna shift three times. So I'm gonna go once, twice, three times, and get my eight, and then I have these two that I need to fill in my placeholders. So one and eight tenths times 10 to the third power is 1,800. Forty-five and six hundredths, and let's divide it by ten to the first power. So this time we're going to make it smaller because it's division, and we're just going to shift one place. So everything is going to shift to the right one time, and I get four and five hundred six thousandths. All right, let's just do one more for practice, and then you should be ready to go on your own. Let's do 45 and 8 tenths. And let's go ahead and divide it by 10 to the third. So again, we're going to make it smaller by three shifts. So I'm going to shift once, twice, three times. I'm going to shift my five once, twice, three times. And I'm going to shift my four once, twice, three times. And I need to fill in my place value. Remember that when multiplying and dividing by powers of 10, we are shifting the digits from one place to the next. Sorry, guys, I forgot to fill this in. So that one is 458 ten thousandths. Once you have completed this video, you can either choose to continue practicing with one of the options below, or if you're ready to take the check-in, you can do that now as well.